What a lovely song, no? But how many of you actually know the meaning of this song? I'm sure a few of you actually went on Google and typed the song to know what that means. This basically two lines will sum up the song. I love you very much and you love me yourself. I kid you not, that's all that is there to this song. No deeper meaning, no allegories, no metaphors, no pretense, nothing. Even the song that we have all swooned over is a cover. To those who don't know what a cover is, it's basically someone picking up a song and then, you know, doing it in their own way, a rendition of their own. Uh, remember this lady who became like the queen of covers? And this guy, of course, I know you will remember this. Yes, the original one that we are talking about today sounds something like this. This came in 2020 when probably very few actually cared about a Sri Lankan singer or for that matter a song coming in from uh, that country. Or oh, wait, uh, a few months back actually we did celebrate uh, a Sri Lankan singer song, didn't we? Well, honestly, I initially thought that I would uh, talk a bit about this beautiful melody by Yohani, which I personally liked a lot. Uh, but there was honestly very little to talk about. And thus, I thought, let me look at these viral songs from a different perspective. How is it that music is reaching so many people so fast across the world? And how are we becoming open to, you know, regional languages, songs like Enjoy and Jammy and Many ke mangaite all of a sudden making them chart busters. And what is the overall effect it's having on how music is being consumed in the country? All that and a lot more in this particular video. Before we move ahead with this video, if you like our work, do consider in subscribing this channel and let this fire burning. When I first heard the song sometime back while scrolling through my Instagram feed, I thought it is just another song which will fade out soon. You know how trends come and go like that. And suddenly it started flooding my timeline. A few days later, this song was almost in every other reel that I was watching. A small audio clip who someone might have uh, picked up from somewhere got replicated millions of times by millions of users. People got hooked up to the clip and they listened to it again and again and again and started longing for more. Maybe some of them went to streaming platforms uh, to search for that particular song. They figured out that the song exists on platforms like Spotify or YouTube. Now that people have found the song on YouTube, there will be downloads of the song, clips of Facebook stories and Instagram reels. All of them will be posted, resulting in yet another round of shares of mini clips of the song. Yet another set of creators making reels on the same. And this will happen to a point where a person resting on a boat at Dal Lake in Kashmir maybe will eventually find out about Yohani and Meneke Magaite in a quiet afternoon while he scrolls through his phone for some entertainment. This is of course when the government does not clamp down on the internet in the valley. And this is happening pretty much with every other song that is topping the charts. Social media has started to design the way songs are constructed nowadays. Music producers are thinking about a clip or a segment that can go viral in their songs. Even before, you know, they finalize the song. Now, I am neither against Instagram Reels nor the songs that are sitting on the charts currently, but take just one example of a recent song that was trending on Instagram. The clip of this quirky song by Ragir was resulted in hundreds of people making Reels, putting different texts on Reels to curse their own humankind. Chalo, yahan tak bhi theek hai because they should curse themselves. I do too. After all, we are responsible for this. But the problem starts when kids get into this mess. 
Instagram has a blanket age bar when it comes to starting accounts in India. Anybody who is lower than 13 years can't have an Instagram account according to the official website. And yet there are so many kids that I have seen making reels either on their own or with the help of their parents. Imagine normalizing an Admi Chutia hai sound clip for a teenager. The same kid might go to his or her own school the next day with the song stuck in their head and they will normalize it further with their friends around. A simple Google search led me to the dictionary.com which told me about the origin of the word Chutia and here is what it means. You see where the problem is now? And this is just one cited example of what kids are exposed to when it comes to social media platforms. We allow them to dance on provocative songs with sexist and misogynistic words weaved all over the place. ऐसा नहीं कह रहा वो सारी बंदी गलत है बस मेरा जिसे पाला पड़ा उसका सोच अलग है कड़क है जो मिली मुझे and this goes unregulated and unchecked by the big bosses of these social media platforms. Parents are equally to be blamed here as they are the ones who are encouraging their kids. And this is not all. The digital dopamine that it releases is harming many such young minds without them even knowing. American psychiatrist and scholar Anna Lemke wrote in her new book named Dopamine Nation as to how in the US digital dependencies are giving rise to anxiety, depression, and loneliness amidst young adults. One of the most important discoveries in the field of neuroscience in the past 75 years has been that pleasure and pain are processed in the same part of the brain and that the brain tries hard to keep a balance between them. We derive pleasure from being on these platforms through instant gratifications in the form of likes or comments. This releases dopamines in our brains. As soon as the dopamine is released, the brain adapts to it by reducing or down-regulating the number of dopamine receptors that are stimulated. And that results in a lower number of dopamines being released now and your brain comes to the side of the pain. Kaise daru pita sumay maza aata hai and fir hangover nikalna padta hai with nimu pani the next day? Just like that. Now, if we can wait long enough, that feeling passes and neutrality is restored in the brain. Which means we need to shut our phones and interact with the outside world or do things that generally makes us happy. But just like addiction, there is a natural tendency of the brain to counteract it by going back to the source of pleasure for another dose. And this is exactly what the algorithm-driven platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter do to our brains. The slot machines never stop giving fresh content, the reels never stop appearing, pushing you to maybe feature in one of those as well. And these are just few problems that social media is putting on us right now. I would highly recommend all of you to watch this documentary on Netflix to get a sense of what we are doing exactly wrong. Loneliness, more polarization, more election hacking, more inability to focus on the real issues. We're toast. This is checkmate on humanity. And with this behavioral pattern, social media is changing music also in a big way. It has not remained just a medium to connect with your friends or fans. Singers and labels are trying really hard to make their songs trend on these platforms. I'm sure you remember the ringtone days uh, where popular songs used to be converted into these annoying sounding ringtones. The reels are acting as those ringtones now, promoting a certain portion of a song to a wider audience that is struggling with attention deficiency in a big way. Whether it's Badshah's Baula or the annoying Bachpan Ka Pyar or some current trend that is brewing right now, songs with very little substance are finding their way on the top charts. And social media has a lot to do with the success. Let's do an experiment. Go check out the top charts in India right now on Spotify and count how many songs have you heard first either on Reels or YouTube Shorts. Write the numbers in the comment section. 
it'll be fun. It is also changing the duration, form, lyrics, and instruments that are being used in a big way. The shrinking attention spans have long changed the six minute long songs from our past to what now, three, three and a half minute songs. Now with social media dominating the success of these songs, there might very well be a time when you will get to hear songs getting made exclusively for Instagram Reels. 30 seconds to 1 minute long, covering the most basic lyrics and music or melody that can hook you up. But as is the case with every social media platform, it will time and again help artists to prosper. Who doesn't know this guy or this girl now? Yashraj made music for years and nothing happened. One viral video helped him become a star, all in a matter of a year. But as we all know, virality is temporary and humans are constantly looking out for the next best thing and are waiting for the next trend to hop onto. Now, whether you will hear more of Yohani or for that matter, any musicians who are getting virality thanks to the botched up social media algorithms in the future is something that will get decided only through their talent and how innovative they are in their approach. Music will definitely survive through this and art will continue to thrive. Pao Salaam. So if you're half-heartedly doing something and you don't give enough time, it's not worth it. But if you and don't even think about sustenance, nothing, and then just go into it and become a master of it, people will come following you. All right, guys, if you like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. You can follow us on Instagram here for daily discussions on films, TV, music, and more. And I'll see you in the next one.